Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, it's this game. We're gonna just get on with killing some fish and shit. So don't get too excited for any any great progress to be happening anytime soon. It's it's side quest hours is what I'm trying to say right now. There does appear to be some big electric eels in here though, which are kind of intimidating and scary. This one's got bling, so we're gonna kill it because it's blinging, and I don't know what that means. So oh, it resists. That's cool. That's pretty cool. So I was going to, um, unrelated, unrelated tangent here, but I was going to uh, record yesterday, but I ended up not recording yesterday because um, some of you may have heard the Queen died. <laughs> yeah, it's been le like a minor footnote in the news. You might not have, 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 have clocked onto that one. Holy shit, this fight. Hold up, hold up. We're going to have to flee from this. We're going to have to flee from this. This is... <laughs> I think we're going to get a game over here. I'm not going to lie to you. These things are... These things are kind of out of my league. So, uh... We're not going to do that. <laughs> Change of plan, I think. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, queen died. Big, big queen. Big died. And, uh... So... Yesterday was classified as a bank holiday, so we could all mourn her death or whatever. I, unfortunately, still had to work. Um, which meant I had to take the bus to work. The bus, which was, like, on massively reduced times because of, of you know, the bank holiday and the Queen dying. Which uh, was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I really liked the part where I had to wait like an hour for a bus after finishing work, and I had to get into work like half an hour early because there was no better bus times. It was, it, it was great. So thanks for that, Queen. Um, I should also thank her for the for closing all the shops so I couldn't buy any lunch as well. So I was fucking starving all day at work. It was it was really good. It was really great. I was a big big fan of that. It's like uh, she just she just wanted to like slight me specifically one last time before she died, you know, a final act of vengeance against the poor. <laughs> she's 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 done it though. She's managed it. She's passed on. We're not going to talk about her anymore. Queen is over. We've got King now. Big Charles. It's going to be great. We're all going to we're all going to love having Charles in our lives doing whatever it is he does. I don't know. <laughs> From what I've seen, struggle to write. <laughs> Struggle to hold a pen <laughs> seems to be his his first major act of taking office. <laughs> oh fucking hell, man! Our country's a joke. I'm sorry if you're a royalist and you're watching this. I'm sorry. I don't mean to upset your sensibilities or whatever, but goddamn, it's a fucking joke, isn't it? <laughs> it's such a fucking joke. Um, so what are we doing? What's the plan here? This is like a hundred percent progress. So I'm, I'm kind of not wanting to go this way yet, but I don't know what else we can realistically do. I feel like that ele those electric heels were kind of, kind of OP, kind of, uh, gone the wrong way there, kind of massively outclassing me. So I, I don't know if I, I could realistically have done that. But we did have to allegedly do a couple more kill a couple more random dudes for that one quest. I don't know what I'm missing on that front. I feel like I've been fairly thorough in my explorations. I've done all of these places. I've done all the things that need doing in here. I barely even remember what happened down south. I know we spoke to some, like, some labourers. We spoke to some workers. Uh, there was no combat to be had or anything here, right? This was just... Just what it is, sort of thing. You take the take take the lumber and he sell the lumber. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, we didn't miss anything here. I don't know, man. Don't know what we've missed here. Unless we could have perhaps got across that crevasse in some way. Why is the world map music just louder than the in-area music? 
Why is that just a thing that is true? I feel like this is something. But there's no encounter to be had where we can attack the, the floor. And then there's Big Tunnel. But there was nothing else in Big Tunnel, right? We just spoke to, to our good pal here. Sira, that was the one. Our good pal Sira. And then moved on with our lives. And that was it. Bit of a shit hideout, really. He's got nothing in here. <laughs> he had a lamp. <laughs> Which would make sense if he was like a moth creature. But he was a bird creature. And birds aren't attracted to lights, are they? I guess magpies like shiny things. I guess maybe that's... That's relevant. I don't know. Train of thought's failing me. They're like, yeah, if we could kill this fucker, that might count towards the tally, but... I don't know how we get over there. Can't get up here? No. Maybe we just continue with the game then. I was trying to be very thorough with my side questing, but... Unless... Unless it's including stuff in this direction, on a previous screen. Because there was a lot we didn't do back here. Uh, what? That was weird. <laughs> I feel like I came in from the wrong side of that screen there. <laughs> that wasn't quite right, was it? I've not killed this fucker, so I don't know, maybe this counts towards the tally? I think we'll probably be fine with this guy now. I don't know why I, I skybreaked him, really. I saw I saw me get the resist, and so my brain was like, "Oh, they're resisting. We need to we need to break them." But it was actually me getting the resist and not him. My brain's just being a big, big dum dum. We've not been in here, so fuck it. Let's just do some exploring. More pigs. You'll make good examples. I don't want to be a good example. I want to be the cool guy at the back of the class who doesn't set the good example, but instead is very popular and s smokes out behind the bike shed. You know? That's who I want to be. A yeah, human has rescued me. Stranger things have happened, I suppose. They say I've been forcing us to mine for them. They've been taking the precious metals off. This is the place that we were told to come. This was the place you were told to come. They mentioned this place. I did not realize it was on a different screen entirely. This explains a lot. Who knows what they want with them? I'll take my leave, however. It is 500 gold. Don't know. I don't know how I was kept in slavery, but somehow carried 500 gold on me. But uh, it is what it is, you know. You belong to the Empire now, pig. I don't think I do. I think I'm a bit OP for you guys, because I should have done this, like, earlier. I should have done this quite a bit earlier, and now I'm doing it now instead. And, um, kind of, kind of steamrolling it a little bit. But that's fine. Hey, it's still a little bit of experience. It's still pushing me towards the level where I'll be able to deal with electric eels. As the lizard's gone, perhaps we should have brought our spears to skewer them. We are vigilantes, and split off from our kingdom in the north. In any case, your assistance is valued. Perhaps you'd consider becoming a vigilante as well. Here is 500 gold. We all have 500 gold here. We were mining it, you see. Come quietly and you won't be hurt. Hmm, I... I'm not... I'm not overly concerned about this one, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not massively perplexed about this uh, this situation in which we find ourselves. They talk a big game, but they don't necessarily back it up with their skills, you know? They're not paying L bills with L skills. we got a razor plating, that sounds cool. The sales seem awful reliant on slave labor. They came east, hunting for stragglers. A people occupy a small building there. Sheltered, exiled Arok. Perhaps you will visit us sometime. I've already been there, mate. I've been there more recently than you have. 
Maybe you should go visit my exile labor camp. What? That's not what we were talking about. <laughs> Maybe you should be my slave. Okay, I think we're done here. I think this is this area is successfully completed. I don't know if those kills were the ones we were looking for, but we did save the people from the slave mine, which is uh, what big shiny man in armor was asking us to do, so... That's pretty cool, I think. There was... Were there more Sarah up here as well? Was there more in this direction? I feel like there might have been. Is this just... This is just the gate, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Hmm. What? Are you kidding? Oh. I have to press a button to leave, apparently. I can't just walk out. I had to interact with the with the edge of the map, which I should point out is not how the other area transitions work in this game. That one is a special, unique area transition that you have to interact with. <laughs> it is what it is, I suppose. Have we been in here then? Have we done this one? Did we do this last time? Oh no, there's still people here. What a responsible pig. That eager to become part of the Empire. Yeah. I'd become part of the Empire if you gave me the choice. I'd be down for that. I want to be like Queen of the Lizard People. I, I, I'm, all, I'm all about that shit. This one seems tougher. Is this one tougher? It wasn't weak to my attacks like the other ones were until the end when it suddenly became weak to my attacks. How very confusing. Come, you belong to us now. I don't... Hot take, right? Hot take. Not a fan of slave labour. I don't think it's a good thing. And I think people who keep slaves are bad. Unpopular opinion in some parts of the world, I know, but... Uh... Yeah, I I'm free. Thank you, the Ser ambushed us at our mine to the south. They're using us to ship resources somewhere. Who knows where? I'm out of here though. Here's 500 gold. Everyone has 500 gold. Is, is that like... Are they not actually slaves? Are they like... Are they like servants? Are they being paid for this? And they're just... Playing it up now that we're freeing them? I I'm free. Thanks. There's some tough sair to the center of the cave. Watch out in there. I think I can take them. I'm not afraid of some early game tough sair. I want... I want that. Why would you do that to me? Why would you hide the secrets? What is this? The pigs are throwing themselves at us now. You weren't thinking of stopping us, of course. Thought so. The Ser Empire pays well for you. They sent us here to detain any humans wandering into the desert. Not sure why. Must be important to the Emperor, though. I'm not about to let you mess things up. Okay. He's just a yellow one. All that talk, and he's just a yellow one. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he'll have some, some badass moves. Maybe he'll fucking destroy me, who knows. I'm not... massively convinced, but we'll see. Can I just say, it's a neat little touch that, um... once you've queued up an action to be done, it shows that action in that little window in the bottom, in the little panel on the bottom. It's not something that's very necessary most of the time, but it's just nice that it's there, you know? A little bit of extra information for the battlefield in case you forgot what you did with the other characters. In case you have a brain like an actual sieve like myself. Got a fire burst cannon. You haven't stopped anything. The Empire will make its way here on its own if it has to. 
Those are, those slaves look like they were from the Divide. The Sand never come this far north. What could they be after? I love how uh, my papel um, fluctuates between uh, West Country and Cockney and just doesn't settle on any <laughs> any uh, particularly uh, abrasive lower class British accent. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I say lower class. To be honest, most Cockneys and, and West Country people are probably middle class because like West Country people are all farmers and they make a fuckload of money and uh, Cockneys live in London and you have to be pretty well wealthy to live there, so... <laughs> Stereotypically lower class, though. Uh, I'm free. Thank goodness, I was beginning to think they were going to feed us these mushrooms. It makes them think they can just force anyone to work for them. I mean, that's kind of what slavers do. <laughs> I don't, don't want to... I don't mean to tell you your business as a slave. You think you'd be fairly familiar with the, the situation. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty common occurrence, I think. What did I get the rogue's ring? Five Agi. Yeah, it's not particularly good, is it? What's the other thing I got? I got something else as well. And I already forgot what. Oh, it was a gun. It was a gun. Fire burst cannon. Uh -huh. It's the same as mine, but causes the user to take 2% HP damage per shot. I think I'll stick with my iron pistol, thank you. I think I'll stick with that. I think that's probably going to be the better option here. As cool as it is to feed myself into my gun, shoot chunks of flesh at people, I, uh, I think I'll pass on that one. Right, that really is all this shit done now, so I guess we can check to see if we've completed any of the uh, of the aforementioned quests, and then we will just actually get on with the game after that, I think. I think we'll probably be about done. Do you, like, interact? No, you don't. Okay. Just sort of standing around being cows, you know how it is. Just doing their cow thing. I assume they're not... Actually, they're meant to be more like horses, right? Like they assume they were meant to be pulling the cart. That was weird. That was glitchy. Um, hello. Did I finish your quest yet? Good work. Uh, you've earned some respect for me, human. Uh, take this. It's a guardian spear. Hopefully you were still alive when more decide to show up. Guardian Spear? Who uses a Guardian Spear? Nobody does. Is it, like... No. I tell you who probably uses a Guardian Spear. Sira. <laughs> Sira probably uses a Guardian Spear, right? The fuck? We're fighting bugs. How had I not accidentally run into some of these before? Oh, they evade. Oh. Oh well. That's that, I suppose. Juicy locusts. Do we want to take another... I'm not sure... I think the game thinks I'm still mounted. I don't normally move this fast, right? <laughs> I wondered what happened to my mount. <laughs> That's wacky. Oh, who am I? I am going to loop because you've heard all this before. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Something, something. D -d 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 -d. It wasn't this guy who asked me to do it, right, were you? Words, words, words. No. I feel like I'm... I'm sure one of these asked me to... Ask me to save the people in the mine, but maybe not. Maybe they were just telling us. They were just like, hey, by the way, there's there's some stuff for you to do in that direction. We're going to give the electric heels one more go. I think. I think. That might be a bad, bad move on my part. I don't know. But fuck it, why not? I'm going to save first, obviously. 
In fact, before we save, let's spend our skill points. How does that sound like like a, a good thing? That sound like a good thing? I think that sounds like a good thing. We needed Sunbreaker as well, didn't we? Oh no, sorry, we have Sunbreaker. We needed Starbreaker, which requires Moonbreaker. I'm getting there. I'm working towards things. Uh, Papel can get passives, probably. Probably just want passives, don't we? Uh, let's get some... Oh, you've already learnt those two. Get some spunk. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a very funny word. <laughs> I am a child, I can't help it. Uh, it's not one that resists lightning damage, only resists thunder, so that's not... Air fire, so that's not super useful. <laughs> Can we just, like, get a stronger version of something we've already got, maybe? Is that... It's 100 base damage, 25 attack multiplier, 100 spin multiplier. 100 base damage, yes, that's the same. It does have an extra element and applies defense down, though. So yeah, that is a better version. Or we can get Incendiary Shot 2, which increases damage a bit and applies Burn 2, which I assume is stronger than Burn 1. But I'm assuming these underwater fish are going to be immune to fire like previous ones have been, so that's probably not the strongest thing to grab for this particular encounter. get some more buffs, but I just don't really use them. Hmm. Ah, fuck it. We'll just get... Hang on, we've got Concussive Blast as well. Which does blunt damage. To be fair, Lightning Damage might be good, even though they are electric eels, they might be, because they are water creatures, they might still be weak to that. I don't know, man. What are these other ones? Purging shot does 100 fire damage, heavy fire damage, everything's just fire damage with this lad. That's all he does. We'll, we'll get Magna Blast. Oh wait, hang on, he's, he had enough for two. <laughs> Whoops. Um, clearly not been spending his points ever. Let's get concussive as well then. Right, save. And swim. We could just try and avoid them as well. I, I assume anything else we're going to find in here is going to be tougher than them, to be fair. There was meant to be like a machine or something down here we were looking for, right? I don't really see shit here though, aside from... Oh! <laughs> I stand corrected! The Sunken Angel. Did that just say it used a defensive stance? Oh no, it's charging. Fuck it. Okay, I didn't do anything. Okay. Not... So bad. Can you burn? No. Hardly surprising, is it? Oh, okay. Okay. That's good news. That's what I like to see. Very weak to piercing. Oh, shit. That's a lot of damage. But it's fine. It'll be dead before it gets to do anything else. Honestly, a lot weaker than the electric eels were. <laughs> Home's torso. Home's torso. Home's torso. Home's torso. 
Don't know what I expected, really. It's a large, imposing torso. There's a large cavity in the center. Okay. I kind of still want to kill these eels. I don't want to fight them now because my health is a little bit fucky. Hey lady, you did it! They're a fish again! Just wait, I'll be a master fisherman soon enough. If you ever want any fish, be sure to visit again give me some fish. Hey lady, you're back and facing the wrong direction. Check these out. It's a chasm bass. It restores a thousand HP, increases XP gain by 10%. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to buy it. That thing, did it look familiar to you? Maybe the throne was used to build it. It's like it was powered by the throne, similar to the Minix creations. But that looked way more high tech than anything I've seen. I like how that cutscene was meant to be triggering, but I interrupted it by talking to the uh, talking to the kid, and the game didn't break. That's the cool thing about that. That's the really cool thing about that is that the game continued. I fully expected after after that cutscene got interrupted that. I'd just like be, be stuck and frozen and not be able to play anymore, but it recovered. Much better than trying to read a journal, I'll tell you that much. Okay. Right, we're going for those eels. They're like the only outstanding thing in this early part of the game that I've not dealt with. So we're going to save. And we're going to go back. And we're going to finish what we started. Did I speak to the kid? Oh yeah, that was the, the stat explan- I said no. I meant I should have said yes. I should have said yes. My, my default thing was like, no, I don't want an explanation. But the, um, the the question was, no, you don't want... Whatever. I don't, I don't need to explain it to you. You're, you're, you're smart. You get it. You understand. You're not as dumb as you look. <laughs> and I can see you. That webcam. I can see through that. You need to work on your posture. Don't cast haste. Don't both cast haste. It's no wonder it died so quickly. They're going, they're going real fast. They're going real fast. Do any of my new skills do like a billion damage or anything? Hmm. Fuck it. Let's go with this. Um, and a brawl shot. See, that's not that much damage. It's just the... I, I guess it's just they attack, like, a lot, right? I guess that's the problem. They don't actually do that much. They're just... Because they, they haste, they just get to spam shock. Honestly, I don't know how I died to these. I'm not... I've le leveled up like maybe once. <laughs> it's not like I'm massively stronger than I was when I got completely shredded. We can take the other one as well. Aside from the big like thousand damage attack that the boss had though, these are definitely harder than the boss. Okay, so we just want to... My self-healing skills are resisted, so I just want to go, like, all-out damage on these lads. R is uh, a little bit... A little bit low on the old... On the old health points. Probably should have potioned, honestly, but fuck it. Overhead slash does so much damage, man. Very good skill. I should use that more often. I feel like doing more damage to an op opponent is probably preferable to uh, healing a little bit with uh, whatever that skill is called. The one I use all the time. The health leeching one. Because if you kill it quick enough, then it's not going to do damage back to you. The best defense, as they say is a good offense. Well, finally, this area is clear, so I can actually move on to the, the new one. Go get Sarah in my party. Give him that spear I'm carrying around and some of these millions of trinkets I have no use for. 
wonder if he'd actually be able to use the leather gloves or whatever they were. That one item that no one in my party could use for whatever reason. <laughs> Someone's got to be able to use them. Maybe that's why no one could use them. The, the leather gloves shaped like claws, like talons. <laughs> they don't fit human hands. He doesn't say that on the item, but, you know, doesn't mean it's not true. It's a perfectly valid head cannon, and I'll hear nothing against my uh, my perfectly reasonable assumptions. Sarah, I'm gonna just because things are getting a bit frisky lately. I'm just gonna save again. Yeah, we can walk on the chains. I thought maybe we could. Ooh. Ah. Got it. Come on, get a move on. There are lots of chains left. They're blowing the chains up. What are the, what are the chains for? What are they doing? They're holding the earth together. Okay, we gotta go round the links. I'll go round the links. Can we cross over onto that one? No, okay. Get that next barrel ready. We don't have much time. Without these chains holding the mountain down, what if we get stuck on it when it floats away? Oh, it's a floaty mountain that's chained to the... Of course, of course it is. Asuma's ship should already be in the bird's village. If you hurry up, we won't miss it. Hey, what are you doing up here? The birds up here are finished. They ain't getting in our way. Oh, no. Um... Part of me wants to hit the explosive with a fire attack. Part of me thinks that will be a really fun thing to do. But part of me is an idiot. Wow, okay. Fuck it. Oh, I can't hit the... It's not an, it's not an opponent. It's just like part of him, I guess. Do you like fire? No more than the average, I guess. Dragon's tongue, that's what the skill I was... I, th I knew, thought it was dragon something, but my brain was not, was not providing the name at all. You know how it is. Hello. Easy lady, we don't want any trouble. Easy lady, we don't want any trouble. Easily, 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 easy lady, we don't want it. Can I not? No? <laughs> Can break the shit out of this lad though. I guess I'll just be on my way then. I assume there's going to be more. I don't know why we can't do anything about him. If the bird's king awakens, we may never get this chance again. The birds ain't coming back to stop us. Repair. Ha! Oh, almost got away without getting hit. Oh, and then it explodes at the end, just as a little, a little present for me, a little bonus celebration. How nice! What did we achieve with that? Oh, my Arcanaut, we're here. The home of the birds, the non-exiled ones. That's pretty fun. We, we did just leave a dude behind with the explosive barrels though. He, he can just... He can just set them off, like, with us on the mountain. I guess that's one way of getting back into the sky though. If we want to go after the Amber Throne, we just ride the floaty mountain up there. Actually, a pretty reasonable suggestion, I think. What is going on? Ooh. Stuff. I love stuff. I don't know where I'm going in this area. 
very confusingly laid out. As long as I'm running into things I haven't killed or collected yet, then I'm, I'm on the right path, I suppose. Would you stop bullying Nuo? What, what is this? What is this bullshit? Whoops, that was the wrong button, wasn't it? How can I... How can I put wrong inputs on a fucking turn-based game? How can I be that impressively bad at video games? <laughs> That's some next level shit, I think. I have all the time in the world to select the right thing and I can still get it wrong. <laughs> I call that the average Joe fast finger special. Do you like fire? I've known people to like fire less, but I've also known people to like fire more. It's an adequate amount of not liking fire, I would say. It says nap at the top of my screen. Okay, so that leads back round to there. There's a chest! With a revive in it. Still not had to use any of them. Not in this reality anyway. Not since I had to reload that one time. Ooh, a lightning thing. It's all zapping and shit. Why do the birds live up here? This place fucking sucks. What do they get out of this mountain? What's the advantage to this one? It's not like it's prime farmland or anything. It's got stinky green gas and zappy lightning rocks and big fucking werewolf things that jump on you repeatedly. Like, I, I see why the exiles or outcasts or whatever the fuck they're called this decided they were going to leave now. It seems like the sensible option. I personally am not a fan of this either. A teal ring there. Are they good? Is someone using one of them? Ooh, a, a, a lightning archway. That's cool. I've thoroughly been round here, haven't I? Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Um. Can we? I mean, we could definitely kill the piece of dirt right back at the start of the game at this point. I don't know about this one though. This is probably going to be a higher level patch of dirt. Let's pull out all the stops here. Do you think we'll get more damage out of these? Or incendiary? Probably incendiary shot still, right? Ah, That was a mistake. Can't brawl shot again, so yeah, we're not killing this. Zero chance of killing this. And get some health back at least. No, okay, fair enough. Fuck you too, I guess. Hope this this mountain doesn't fly away, and it's not like we only get one shot of being here because I really don't think I'm capable of of doing that. I'd be ashamed to to miss out on it forever. Oh. It's a lot nicer here. I mean, there's a man with a gun, but I assume he's not always here. He's not like a prominent geological feature of the area. Who's there? You don't look like you're with us. <laughs> he had trouble there, didn't he? It's tricky for him to path to me then. Decided to just do a quick backflip on his way over to me. He was, uh, he was slaloming to avoid my bullets. The smart approach that was. Thank you, human. I'm not supposed to do this, but here. Here's some potions. The red cloaked ones are headed for our queen's chambers. What could they possibly want there? Why are humans trampling through our village? We've done nothing wrong, have we? 
Apocrypha, Apocrypha, what a dumb book. Why aren't the gods doing anything? Protect the throne? These birds won't be protecting anything because they're not legally allowed to kill humans, which is a real fucking shame, I think. But here we are, I guess we'll have an, we'll have an easy win, won't we? I can't imagine any um, law that dictates you're not allowed to defend yourself against people literally coming to murder you would hold up for very long. I think people might start breaking that one pretty rapidly. I don't know, maybe not. Our Lord made a pact with the humans. Why are they intruding on us? We bought the dub our houses so you cannot get in. The mountain was once a hotbed for war. It's been quite torn up over the years. And we've all become quite peaceful since. Aside from the big werewolves outside, they're pretty angry still. Chop! I say chop! <laughs> the adults say we used to wage war against this air. Nothing you do is permanent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. That's some orders, nobody stands in our way. Not even a big French bird. From a big French Sesame Street. What's what's the deal with Sesame Street? Is it is it like something to do with the Muppets or not? Is it like a, a, a rival puppet show? Was Jim Henson involved in Sesame Street at all? I don't think there's ever been like a Muppet Sesame Street crossover, has there? So I assume it, it is a completely different enterprise, but it feels like it shouldn't be. I don't know. <laughs> Keep quiet. If the soldiers see me helping you, there's going to be trouble. Look at all this help I can offer you. I can sell you some berries for 1,000 gold. <laughs> God, I'm so helpful. What? Flight or stay? I guess I'll stay. Don't know about flying just yet. I'm not. I'm not a bird. I'm not bird enough for this situation. We used to smelt metals inside the belly of the Arcanaut, but since our wars against the air, it has been left abandoned. What is happening? The Queen! The Queen. If only I could reach my spear, but my arm is not quite long enough to pick it up, so I'll just kneel here instead. How can a race with such a noble past be brought to its knees so effortlessly? Probably because you're dumb and won't fight back. Fucking idiots, aren't you? Well, what is happening? Red soldiers from the east came to visit the queen! And I will stand here blocking these stairs until something is done about it. <laughs> Alright, I'll go in here then if you insist. Another human. You don't look like the rest. Only one may convene with the queen, however. I think you... Does your queen not need saving? Is that not important? What business would humans have here? What business would humans have here? We'll take care of you for Lady Asima. These birds won't have a hand in stopping us. <laughs> Who the fuck is Hasima, by the way? That's a name that's literally only started showing up in like the last 10 minutes of gameplay and I have no clue who it is. I thought, uh... Harpsichord was the one in charge of the, the Red Cloaks, because they're like... They're the Loyalists, right? They're... Um, the faction of, of, the, of the city who uh, are loyal to whatever her name is, the, the princess. And Harpsichord seemed to be in charge of them, so is, is this like a splinter group of them from the Sages? You know, they're like loyal to the sages and they're doing their bidding and are against Harpsichord, or is this... 
like still them but under a different group I don't know you won't interfere I think I will I think I'm already interfering by virtue of you know fighting you <laughs> I would call that interfering personally you may believe differently and that's perfectly perfectly fine we're all welcome to our opinions but um, your opinions are wrong and mine are right as is always the case every time I get into an argument with anybody I am always objectively correct. I, I wish I wasn't, honestly. I wish I knew what objectivity was. Um, but unfortunately, my opinions are just always the right ones. Even when I try intentionally to be wrong, my opinions are still always just right. And I, I just can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. Our blacksmiths have been inactive since our king's last resurrection. We will wait as long as it takes for the day to come once more. The day when we are allowed to blacksmith. In the meantime, we have to not have cutlery. <laughs> Do you blacksmith cutlery? I assume you have to, right? Anything made of metal has to be made by, like, the blacksmithing process, surely. Surely? I don't know, I don't know how things are made. Probably, I assume everything in real life is made in big machines now, but once upon a time, they must have been done by hand, right? Alt, only one may address the Queen Posulien. She's very big and her robes cover the entire chamber. How pathetic. Your king left your people helpless, and without his sacred pen, you can't even change your own laws. The Fefniron are not welcome on Arcanon. We have no business. What a loyal bunch of birds. If you're an honest woman, you'll know that little book of yours forbids us from nothing. Don't worry, I'll wait. You cannot come to, human. This is our law. There is nothing. Our text, we would have known. What an honest race. I'm sorry, my love. And so falls the first of the Arox leaders. Once they have been dismantled, there'll be none left to stop us from entering the Sky Castle. I've been hearing a lot about you from our soldiers. Aura, is it? <laughs> I won't have you or this dusty old race interfering with us. The Amber Throne belongs to the, f the Red Kingdom, of course. <laughs> My ship looks like a whale. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> These birds used to be Vosca's protectors. <laughs> How sad. What a pity. I do feel bad about it. Really, I do. But now I've got bigger worries. I'm glad humanity could forge such a great alliance. Really. I thought we were going to have a boss fight. I got boss fight blue balls over here. Probably for the best, because we're getting to the old uh, time of the wrapping up, but... The Arak once upheld order in this world, we separated our mountain from it, encasing it in a temporal storm. As the storm twisted time, our law became eternal, and with the law, our king brought justice to the world. It's just probably being a stupid French accent, because it's probably supposed to be an Arak talking, but never mind. During the wars between Axis and Ser, we were guardians, helping to keep the balance in our torn lands, working with what remained of humanity against the Ser. But times change. Our laws are old and crippled. Such a process requires revision. The king must awaken each century from his slumber atop the mountain's peak. Without his revisions, the Arok are stuck in the past. We cannot lift a hand against the humans. How can we act against the root? The root? 
the arrow created the law to battle the Fefniron's temptation. As the rest of the world greedily fought over the Amber Throne, our people established rules that would forever protect us from it. Yet in the world, we do not live alone. We are at the mercy of the weather, the whims of its people. Sira, the exiles, they knew. They did knew. They knew Ryugald. But uh, all I know is that we have to finish now. So uh, more of this next time. Bye.